And now we're on Sway. So video number three about Steam. Hyperland, Wayfire have passed a review. Played on the Hyperland, just installed and shown you on Wayfire and now installing it here as well. So last message, last video was, is um, the Arclinx meta package still up to date? I don't know, right? It is created anyway by um, our users because I have zero, almost zero knowledge about anything related to gaming. <laughs> and there is something we can install and I've just updated this particular package. So is it up to date or not? I don't know, right? So you be the judge of that. This is something we can run, but I suggest you do it the normal way and use your brain, right? And what do I mean by that? Let's see if we can record it. Steam native runtime is the one I've chosen. Steam Buddy is something we built for you. Steam Tinker Launch for you. And Steam Tweaks is for you. That's coming from the AOR and we just built it. We don't know what it does. Steam native runtime. And then you make the decisions, right? You know your hardware. Do you need AMD VLK, VLK Vulcan, eh? NVIDIA Utils, Vulcan Intel. So the only thing I can understand is I'm on an Intel. So I don't need Radeon, I don't need Nvidia, I don't need AMD, AMD. So my reasoning is I'm going to take three, right? Same thing here for the Lib32 Vulcan driver. Same thing, number three. And then a lot of stuff comes in. So keep track a little bit of all these things. So first of all, Lib32, meaning important if you really are a beginner, there are different repositories and if I say now control C here and ask it again, then I can explain you the multi lip, right? Lip and lip. So if that's not open and if you're on Arch, it's not open, then you can't install it. So number three, enter number three and enter. So that's an important thing. Multi lip has to be present in your Pac-Man dot conf in your configuration etc pacman dot conf right, let's do that as well and pacman is the way to do it and have a look go down and say ole right, normally it's like this right normally it's looking like that uh uh you need it so exit and I don't save anything <laughs> no <laughs> always safest and then we install so I've done now exactly the same thing in the Arcanlex Meta Steam Intel. I took a look what packages Arch installs because this is pure Arch, right? This is the package builds of Arch Linux. And then, uh, yeah, I've, I've added them to the list and maybe it will work again. I don't know. It is um, always in, move, in, in motion, right? It's always changing, it's always updating. So. There you go. This seems to work. Otherwise we get immediately a crash with a lot of errors. <laughs> it's easy. When it doesn't work in Linux, poof, it breaks. There we go, all the updates. Did you see Ubuntu? I always ask you guys, think out of the box guys. Stop thinking in boxes. It's all Linux. That's maybe a bit too far for you, but let's at least say it's all based on Arch. It's all Arch Linux. So anything I teach here is valid for anything Arch based. And yes, there will be differences, of course. That's what you need to figure out. If you're on Linux, you gotta be a little bit of Sherlock Holmes figure things out. Here are the logs. Voila, I wouldn't have this pop up if it would, wouldn't work. So basically it can stop here. So I've seen the installation process on my end anyway, on an Intel machine. And the Intel machine is this one. So 
by for now. This is what I have and it works on this particular thing and you'll see the packages it has and it's uh, based on Sway as you see. And so you'll know everything you need to know if you're running into issues, you compare it with somebody else. Say, okay, what does Eric have? That is the one. So that's the last bit you need to have. Probe 24, A7, etc. That's where you need to go. And you know exactly what packages I have and what system I'm on. All right, enjoy.